overnight, relentless rain and high winds, battering parts of the Pacific Northwest, flooding roads, triggering mudslides, forcing residents to flee. An atmospheric river event affecting parts of Washington State, Oregon, and British Columbia, Canada. It's part of a weather phenomenon often called the Pineapple Express by meteorologists because its moisture system extends as far away as the Hawaiian Islands. A storm with winds so strong blowing over this 18-wheeler, the tractor trailer left leaning over a guardrail. In Bellingham, Washington, heavy rains wreaking havoc, submerging cars and gas stations underwater. Six inches of rain falling in just a few days. In Whatcom County, north of Seattle, city and county rescue crews were inundated with calls for help. So neighbors used fishing boats to bring people to safety. In Forks, Washington, frightening moments as a U.S. Coast Guard air crew rescued six adults and four children, including one baby, dangling in the air above floodwaters. Holding, it's a very small child. While residents in western Washington tweeting photos of their rescue from a stranded Greyhound bus. In northwest Washington, at least four rivers have reached record levels of flooding. That, according to the National Weather Service, it's gotten so bad, the governor there has issued an emergency plot proclamation to try to reach the hardest hit areas. Hoda. All right, Aaron McLaughlin Flores. Aaron, thank you. Let's turn to Al get more on this weather threat and where it is yeah. headed now. Hi, Al. Morning. Yeah, guys, this is actually going to be a kind of a coast-to-coast -coast system, but we see this, this atmospheric river of moisture just coming into the Pacific Northwest. They they have been getting hit since the third week of October. This one, so far, in 31 days, the Pacific Northwest, 40 inches of rain, the wettest days for parts of Canada, and Seattle has had its wettest fall on record. And you can see the, the bulk of it has now started to taper off, but they we're still going to see a lot of river rise right now. There's been snow melt going on, so flooding is not done yet. It's just really, in a sense, for this part of the country, getting started. However, this system is going to be making its way to the east through the Rockies this morning, bringing some snow with it as it pushes through. Now, un an unseasonably warm ridge of air building ahead of this system, so we'll see some record-breaking temperatures. The brunt of this storm is going to stay up to the north and bring snow north of the border, but as it gets to the east, starting in Chicago, it'll start bringing more rain, drawing in more moisture, and so we're looking for, generally speaking, by Thursday, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain stretching all the way down from the northeast into the into to parts of the Midwest, but for right now, the worst of the rain is over for the Pacific Northwest, but the flooding is going to remain. All right, Al, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.